Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Agent Mastermind Call. I'm Paul Baxter. I'm here with the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. Scotty Hudspeth. And hello, we hello. have a very, very special guest. Um, actually, we have Scott's partner, Vicki Rice, on the call with us today. And uh, Scott, give a, tell, tell everybody a little bit about who Vicki is and, and what she does for you. Well, uh, first off, we're not going to give you her real name. So you can call her Vicki Rice, but you'll never get her real name from me. So I got a fake Facebook page set up for her, and I have a fake LinkedIn and fake. No, I'm just kidding. It's not so, even a real picture. Not even a real picture. No. So she's not even like I got a, actually a voice disguise, so it's not really her voice. So just making fun. Of her. It gets so, really um, creepy so, around here. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Vicky's been with me, God, I, has, I think it's been almost two years now, and she um, she's a licensed real estate assistant, has been for like 25 years, so she knows the, the, the lingo, the talk. She uh, has a, an amazing graphic mindset of like what something should look like, what it um, – she understands the, the results and events, giving something of value. She understands the difference between push marketing and pull marketing. She's kind of she's well rounded as far as that goes. So what she's gonna do is share with us um, how like to, to put together a flyer, a banner, a headset, a postcard, whatever you want to put together as far as to create your image. And she's real big about having the same image across all platforms. So I don't know if I mean that really probably doesn't do her any justice, but that's kind of who she is. That's about uh, a third of how great she actually third, is. Yeah, about a third, yeah. <laughs> so um, real quick, let me just run over a couple things to kind of set the stage for what Vicky's going to show us, and then I'm going to turn it over. So first off, we're going to show you how to do these two things. Now, second, we're going to show you how to do it using PowerPoint 2010. Now, it's amazing, what, and we've done a couple classes on this before, but we've never showed you. We, we, we've, we've done a class, if you haven't seen it, on how to do a Facebook header. We're going to kind of touch on that, but more importantly today, how to do a, a, a postcard, how to do a uh, a flyer, a full flyer and, uh, using PowerPoint 2010. So it's just and, and guys, just FYI, Scott is Scott. He mentions he the reason he says PowerPoint 2010 is that's what Scott has on his computer. That's what Vicky has on her computer. I will tell right. you, I am living in the Stone Age. And Scotty, on a side note, we need to get that fixed. By the way. Um, I'm in the Stone Age with 2000. I have I have oh. Office 2007 on my computer, okay. and I I have the same tools that you do. Everything that you're going to show here today, I can do also on 2007. So if you don't have PowerPoint 2010, Just get don't it. freak out. Don't don't leave the program. You you're right. you you'll see some really cool things, and you you are able to do the same things on 07. So yeah, and I was actually um, believe it or not, Paul, I was actually a little bit behind you. I was doing it on 2003. And then as I learned more stuff, people, more people had the updated version. So I'm like, okay, where's that button at? It just became harder. So all the videos and sure. training and all that stuff is on 2010. So I'm like, all right, enough. It's 130 bucks. Spend the money. It's going to be good for a long time, and that's where, that's where we're at now. So. And you really um, can do any and everything yeah, with it. Everything. So um, to set the stage for the – I don't know if you guys, are, you guys are on this class. We're going to be doing a disk profile class. On what to look for when hiring an assistant next week, I, I was I had the pleasure of meeting Michelle, and I, um, she is literally a disc master. I hope she's on the call with us right now, but she's gonna do a class on what to look for, how to look for them, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a five-step process next week on looking for the right assistant. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna learn a ton. It's just one one uh, avenue that I'm not real strong on. So she's gonna share that with us next week. And then. Get this. I'm setting the stage for the next couple weeks here. Seven levels of communication. I don't know if you guys have read this book, but it is, it's changed my life, and I continually give this book to a bunch of people that I work with um, on the different things that you might be doing that's, that's costing you money that's not really truly making you any money. So Michael Mann, the, my brother from another mother, is working on getting the writer, the author of the seven levels of communication to be on the class with us to share with us an unbelievably amount of just information that's going to help you get rid of some of the stuff you're spending money on and start focusing on the stuff that truly is going to make you money, uh, short term, long term, and what kind of recession proof your business of what's really working. So, so in um, short, guys, what Scott's telling you is stay tuned in. We've got some amazing, amazing classes amazing on track stuff. for coming up here yeah. that are really going to, you know, uh, several things. It, 
tell your friends about this hold yeah. it a secret as far as what you're implementing tell your friends about us and and let them know you know guys we're doing some great things and and quite honestly we're delivering some information that uh, that a lot of people are paying top dollar for and and we're bringing it to you as a benefit uh, to your relationship with your loan professional so by all means reach out thank your loan professional who invited you today and just you know Absolutely. tell them thanks for bringing you all this cool content because that that's really what it's all about yeah. is yeah. making sure that we can bring you things that you have you can leave this class at the end of the day and if you implement them they will help you grow your business and, and change your life so even something as simple as building a a pro you know uh, a uh, flyer or building a banner or building a postcard those small things having the knowledge to be able to do those things are yeah. what I'm talking about having the knowledge to do that will help you grow your business so that being said Scotty let's do it got some great stuff coming and this right. is one of my favorites right here yeah so all right so I'm gonna set the stage and th th this is a true mindset we're gonna be doing a class on this very soon on Results in advance. Uh, uh, dude, I am such an amazing, and I just called you guys a dude, but um, dudettes, dudes and dudettes. So what if you walked into a listing presentation with the flyer of their home, with a picture of their home, already done? Now, the big keyword, and I should have put it in red here, is already done. Okay? Link to their personal website on a flyer. Text code, QR code. What if you had all that stuff set up and on a really cool flyer when you walked into the listing presentation okay what if you had a postcard of their home already done already done not about here's what I'm gonna do for you here's the thing guys every agent I talk to it, I mean every state of every agent I talk to they're literally going houses are selling in seven hours seven days if the home is on on the market for 22 days something's wrong it needs too many repairs or it's overpriced so your competition is everything when you go into a listing presentation and you are not ready or you have nothing of value to bring to the table or you already haven't put something in their hands that shows them here's what I've already done for you to kick in the law of reciprocity you're really missing the boat you could lose depending on what your average loan size is just you figure it out and if you did that 12 times a year once a month what would that look like in your bank account if you were to able to create something of value so they feel obligated to work with you okay that's where I'm going with this. So the mindset of this is huge. Postcard of their home already done. Business card sticker of their home already done. What if you what if you had a flyer of a Facebook header of their home already done? Okay. So yesterday I was talking to an agent. I just I love I love more than anything talking with people that are in the trenches, which is real estate agents and loan officers. And I was talking to an agent yesterday, and I said, so, and I just literally I come up with this stuff while I'm talking to him. Like, okay, what if you went to a listing presentation? Going back to this, you had a flyer done. Like, okay, all you have to do is print this out and postcard. Here's just like 100 postcards. You take it with you. Oh, you know what? If you decide not to go with me, I'll just, just rip this stuff up, throw it away, whatever. What if, you, what if you were to buy like a printer that doesn't need a computer that you could, and you take a ream of paper and you take a memory card and you go, hey, if you decide to go with me today and your little flyer box out there is empty, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping off a printer. Here's a, here's a ream of paper. And all you have to do is just, when that thing's empty, print it out. When we're done, I'll pick up the printer, take the paper that's left, and I'll take it. To, to Boy, take, talk take, about take, setting right? the mindset of the seller to know that I am ready to start marketing your listing as soon as you sign this piece of paper. So, like, yeah, that's like, action hey, taker, and that hey. sets a mindset like – Boy, that I mean, boy, think about the what the seller would be thinking. I've brought my huh. printer with me, so if yeah, you decide yeah. to go with me, we can print yeah. off a hundred of these right now and get to marketing and get your home sold. Yeah, and wow. wait till you see the price of these printers. So get this. So what if you had a memory card with everything I just said? What if I go back to this card and go, here's a memory memory card, which is what? I mean, you can buy memory cards for five bucks. Well, the, the 16 bucks, gig memory bucks. card, which you'll never be able to fill the storage on that thing, is like fourteen ninety nine at Walmart right so now. $15. Okay, so $15. You put a memory suit together. Here's all this stuff I created for you. Feel free to keep it. Uh, here's a printer. If you, uh, you know what, if you decide to go with me today, no big deal. I'll take it back. And no, no worries. Here's a memory card with everything I just talked about and showed you. So you literally could pull it up on your computer or stick it into the printer and print whatever you need or whatever you want. You're going to a soccer game, take some flyers with you. How many friends do you think you have that would do you a favor right now in your Rolodex or in your phone? How many do you think you got? You got 15, 20? 
could you call them and say, hey, just do me a favor. Could you go to my Facebook page and post this link to this property saying that, hey, my good friend Sally, she's got her home for sale. If anybody knows, anybody looking, could you just post this on your, you know, share this on your Facebook page. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I know I could call up 15 friends and they do it with, and there's no cost, takes less than a minute, and it's, it is, and it's doing something of, you know, it's doing me a favor, right? I mean, I know everybody on this call has 15 people they could call to ask them help move. You think they wouldn't post on their Facebook page that you're the link to your single property website? What if you had that discussion with a seller? Listen, I've already created this link. I would like to put some better pictures up there, but give me 24 hours if you decide to go with me. And um, hey, here's the script. Oh, it's on the memory card as well on what to say to your, your friends and family and coworkers. Um, I mean, just putting this whole bunch of stuff together that you've already created for them when you walk in, right? It's just, it's, I don't know, it's no chill. more I'm gonna. It's all about what I've already. So it's what I've already done. It has not, no, did I say anything about me as an agent? Did I nope. say anything at all? No. No, nothing. It's about the seller. It's, about it's, it's the about seller. them. Right. So check this out. Doesn't need a computer. $69. Wireless, all-in-one, coloring, printer, copier, scanner, uh, from tablet, smartphone. You could print from your smartphone, for God's sake. Okay? So, all right, you know what? You know how the borrowers, the borrowers need to fax you stuff? Oh, shoot, here's one for $89 that has a fax with it. 89 bucks. Hey, just stick this little memory card in here. Print out as many flyers as you want. Hey, when I need you to fax something to me, just... Uh, Here's how you use it. We'll go through a couple things, and you know, I need this or hey, if your lender needs anything, um, here's here's a, here's a way to get it to them. You scan it in, email it, or fax it to them. I'm I'm just giving you. Here you go. Oh, and don't forget to ask. By the way, what are you doing? Are you are, are you going to buy locally? Are you going to like you going to buy a new home? Oh, great. We'll just keep the printer while we look for your new home, and then any documents we need, we can just kind of communicate that way. Sound good? Boom. Okay. So um. Vicki, did I set the mindset for this okay? <laughs> yeah, you did. You did a okay, job. all right. So yeah. I'm going to turn this baby over to my Hey, partner. Scotty, do you know if on that on that $90 deal, is that is that include ink or is the ink cartridge separate? Um, I would think at that price the ink cartridge is separate. Just say it's a question that popped in and just to get yeah. clarification on it. My okay, thinking so on that, Renee, is that it would be separate. Um, yeah. So you spend three. So you spend three hundred. See, I, I don't know how much. I mean, thirty, forty bucks for. So you spend forty bucks is a decent four so color. You, four you, color buy, you buy ten printers at two thousand bucks. Okay, you're gonna make that back. I don't know. I mean, my average loan size is a hundred. I make you know every agent in my town makes about three grand, uh, thirty five hundred. So you got two grand and ten printers. You take one with you. Have four of them in your car at all times. I mean, I'm telling you, it's writing small checks to cash big checks. And, and, and the mindset problem. that you create behind that. What right. other – anybody on this call, and you know, we're well over, well over 400 agents on this call right now. Any agents on this call, do you know of anybody that's bringing a printer and provide, you know, leaving it there so the seller can, can print off flyers or anyone doing this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. All right, so now Vicky's sharing some stuff with us. She's, exactly. Uh, she's going to take over. So here's the thing: it's the whole the whole mindset is just if you don't do any if 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 you have somebody else creating your postcards, creating your flyers, whatever. I'm just sharing with you. We're sharing with you how to get it done for a lot less money, well, for free. If you want to, you could hire somebody. Like if you have a, a somebody on your staff that can do this for you, and say, hey, you know, like I go to Vicky and go, Vicky, hey, I need um, we, we need a postcard for this uh, mortgage mixture that we're doing next week or next month and I just wanted to get throw something together real quick for us. She's like, yeah, man, where's it, you know, she starts, so it's just stuff like that that you can do that sets you apart from the competition. It's personal and she's going to share some stuff that she's done already for us. Hi, doing. guys. <laughs> okay, so um, what you're going to see right now um, that's on the screen is basically Scott's um, Pinterest board. I kind of keep everything. Um, on the board that I kind of do. Hopefully, I get chance. I get a chance to update it on a regular basis. Um, if you happen to come in, you'll see all the Facebook timelines that we've done for agents, um, and every single one of these we've done with PowerPoint. So um, you're more than welcome to friend um, Scott and you know start following the Pinterest um, Facebook page and the video marketing page and the postcard page, all that jazz. But 
Every single thing that we've done here on banners is done through PowerPoint, and that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. Um, the actual postcard um, um, I have used quite a lot with agents who kind of start their brand uh, or their image with their Facebook page, and then you know they want like um, flyers or they want postcards that they can send to people, um, or even a brochure. Um, that we that she can hand out like uh, Kim wanted at uh, open houses, yeah. um, and you can do trifolds. You you can do uh, all kinds of different um, brochures through PowerPoint. So I wanted to let you know that there's a lot of ideas that you can just kind of copy um, and kind of go from there. One of the questions, Scott, we get a lot is like, where do you find your images? Right. 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 Yeah. So I really love um, Photo Express. Photo Express is very inexpensive, I think. You know, sometimes images can cost you like a hundred dollars, you know, for an image. Um, but you can buy on a monthly plan, you know, for as little as a dollar per image. So my favorite is Photo Express, and, um, and you can just, you know, have a have it go for ten images, you know, monthly automatically, up to you know, hundred. Um, so you you can pick your plan. And then you can just go ahead and put in there what it is that you're trying to search for, and you get some great ideas. Um, I do also use um, Getty Images, which is great, a um, little bit more expensive. And then I also use um, Shutterstock. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there to you guys for some options in case you're looking for something unique or different. Cool. And you want to stay current. You know what I mean? You want to stay vibrant. You want to have it create some kind of an emotional connection. And usually, um, usually, I can't even talk, um, it's either going to be, you know, emotional in your brand, your image, or it's going to be, um, um, you know, business related. Um, you have to kind of be careful and make sure that you use a lot of um, images that reach a variety of different types of target markets. Um, so, you know, depending on the project that you're doing, you kind of look for a certain image that's going to relate to that um, visual image that you want it to be. So we're going to go through some of those um, right now. Like, for example, let's see, Brian Heckman, I think he's on the call. Um, he wanted to have some flyers to be able to leave at offices. Um, when he does a presentation, because you know you're busy up there talking to people, um, and you wanted something that you could like, you know, leave so that they could have a memory piece, you know, after he's done, um, but still allow them, you know, to be able to engage them. Um, so this is the first page, and it's basically kind of more of an, you know, it's kind of enticing them. Um, it's following his brand, which I just copied with Gene. Hopefully you guys have Jing, um, and we've talked about it a dozen times, from his Facebook page. So I went up here, and I copied um, his Facebook banner, and I saved it to my desktop, and then I pasted it here um, in, in PowerPoint. So simple as that. Um, I don't know, to get Jing, it is a free download. I use it probably 100 times a day, um, but all you do is go to... Um, you know, Jing, J-I-N-G, uh, and you'll see this come up underneath Google. Click this free download, and then after it downloads, this little sun will pop up on your computer. You can move it wherever you want, um, and then you have the option of capturing the image um, uh, and doing a video. So, so what you're, so, uh, so what you're saying, Vicki, so what you're saying, Vicki, is Jing is, brings sunshine into your day every single day of your life. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Just like you, you do my day every day. So um, this is the back page. Um, you know, that would be the front. This would be the back. Um, and then you could have them fill out this opt-in form. Um, and this is just one idea of a flyer that you could use. Um, again, it's just more not giving away the whole thing, but try, kind of enticing them to uh, want more. So just check here and put your name and address, and then um, he picks them up at the end of the presentation. So kind of a cool idea on that. Um, let's kind of go into um, what it looks like. So this is PowerPoint, right? Yep. This is what you see. Um, and two things. Um, depending on what I'm designing, 
um, I would go into first design. This little tab up here, you guys see that okay? Yep. And then I would go into page setup. Okay. So if I'm doing a flyer, then I'm going to want it to be portrait size. Eight and a half by eleven, kind of that. See how easy it, it changed? Now, um, in, 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 in real quick, real quick, so here's how I here's how I learned, just to kind of simplify this a little bit. Um, she's gonna be do, clicking a lot of buttons and stuff like that, which is which is really cool. So here's what I do is I um, pull up the video, I watch which but wh wh which button she pushes, and then I stop it and then do it myself. That's how I've learned more than you can even imagine. And that's what I would recommend when you like if you want to do this or show your assistant how to do this or partner or whoever it is. Um, just kind of go through this video as Vicky's going through it, and then do it, pause it, do it, pause it, do it, pause it. It's the best way to learn. And then you're physically doing it, and it allows you to learn for the next time. Right. And so this little button up here allows me to go back. Maybe I want to undo something so I can show you again what I just did. See how those come back. So now I'm back to the original, um, or I can move forward. So these two little buttons are nice to know that they're up there so that you can utilize that. So let's go back to design. And I'm going to go over here to page setup, this very first one. And then I'm going to choose portrait for flyers and just hit OK. So that allows me to um, use it as a flyer, as I would um, for Brian's um, presentation flyers that I did. Uh, I, I usually try and um, you know, clear the, my little X's here. So you have to click right on that little line. Sometimes it can be a pain. And just hit cut and you right click and hit cut. So now that leaves me with a blank screen. So I can do anything that I want to with this at this point. Um, number one, I can insert an image that I purchased from you know, Photo Express and I can keep all of my images um, in a folder. Um, so that kind of will give you an idea. I have my Photo Express right here. And so say maybe I want, um, you know, I want this image. So now I can manipulate it. You know, I can, I can change whatever I want, have it be wherever I want. And then, you know, with that image, um, you know, I can make it, um, you know, stand out, pop out using these great little tools. And then the, at the bottom down here, you can actually expand that. You know, I can make it, you know, a zoom in, in whatever I want for that. I can bring up. I can change the direction, um, 3D, um, changing it around. That's a great tool. Um, if I want to do here's picture the, here's effects. The, here's the cool thing about this is every fire that we build, we build in PowerPoint because Word, uh, a lot of people will try to do these in Word, and it's such a pain to do in Word. We, it, like, it's less, it's, there's more steps you have to take to make things look good. So that's why PowerPoint, if you're going to build a flyer, this is the only way to go because you can move pitches around, shrink them, enlarge them. You don't have to worry about putting a box inside a box. And it's just, whew. So this is just so much easier. Right. And usually when you're buying the photos or the images, they're, they're in HD, which means they're large. They're not those tiny thumbnails that you would, you know, you would get from some other places. So um, I love this whole section up here, my tools. Yep. Underneath format, picture tools. I love the picture layout or picture effects where I can shadow things. I can do a reflection. So if I want it to reflect at the bottom, you know, I can do a 3D rotation. So you can do all kinds of different really cool things that make your flyer or postcard, you know, stand out and be very interesting and pleasing to the eye. Um, if for some reason you don't want to purchase an image, that's okay. I'm going to cut this out. Um, you can go into where it says insert up here, and you can go to clip art. If you click that button, over here on the right hand side, you know, you can you can search for art that um, it becomes with PowerPoint. No charge, it's automatically there. So if I wanted to search for a home, I would just write the word in and search and I would hit go. And it gives me all of these different images that you know maybe I could put in there. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to search for um, happy family, I hit go, hit search in, search in, search in. If I want to search for um, um, flowers.
gives me all kinds of different flowers. And I can search for, um, I, I only like photographs, but you can also do, you know, clip art like illustrations. But um, just wanted to let you know. So say, for example, I want that flower, flower, flower and I came and talked today, um, <laughs> in the flyer. Um, that's how easy you could do it. And these are free to you, for you guys to use. Um, now, if, if, for example, I want to, I'm going to try and find an image. Let's use this one instead. Okay, so I like that candle. Um, but you know, Scott, I really don't want this background, right? So I'm going to go over here to remove background, and I'm going to click on it. So everything in purple is going to be removed automatically. But you know what? I really like to, I want to keep the actual, um, you know, certain parts of the photo. So I'm going to drag it out and see how it comes in. Um, make sure that I have all my images. So it goes all the way around. This is the but cool you know part. What? This is the part I love the most is, like, you can remove I different don't, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I don't like this there, so I'm going to go up here and say areas to remove. Do you see that? And yeah. so areas to keep, too, as well, so plus and a minus. So I'm going to go to my minus to remove it, and then I'm just going to scroll and remove it. And Wait. sometimes it's an X. Sometimes I have to follow the actual layout of the image, you know, and make sure I have everything. Like, this should be removed down here. Do you see what I mean? And yeah. I can see like here, this little area here should come off. So you can get real technical with it. Um, but then if I click outside the box, there's my image. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. So, that's, a, that's crazy. Anyway. That is so crazy how that works. And I do that a lot with like photos of um, agents and, um, and loan officers where they might have a, you know, I don't like the background that they're in or they're standing, and I want to put them in the actual image th itself. You know, I take away the background, and then that way I can I can save this image to my desktop if I want to keep it for later, you know, and utilize it. Um, and then I can input it into the actual image depending on what idea I'm coming up with. Um, so that's a great kind of a cool thing to to think about. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you is um, postcards. Now um, we've had some people say, well, what a, what can I do about postcards? And I really like um, Vistaprint.com. You can order postcards from your printer. If you have a great hey, Vicky, printer that, hey, yeah. Hey, Vicki, can you, can you show one more time? Because that, that is probably one of the coolest parts about removing a piece of a picture. I mean, like, you could literally have an sure. animal as part of a picture and remove the animal and have the animal sitting on the grass and remove the, total, the background of it. So... Um, right. th this is probably the neatest because you can literally take any picture of anything and remove pieces and parts of it and put it with other yeah. pieces and parts. So that th this is a cool okay. part. So I'm going to go back and try and find an image of, of something that I want to do. So I want to see if I can find. Or you want to use one from your clip art over there? Uh -huh. Oh, do you want me? I was going to use, show them how they can. Oh, take okay, cool, 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 cool. Perfect, 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 perfect. You know, perfect. Take the yeah, background do that. off. Oh, I like that. Yep. Okay. I like that. Um, yep. So. Um, here is someone that maybe that's your photo, and this, she's beautiful. Um, but I want to take away this back image. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to give her a new background. That is insane. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm. I, you can see that I clicked on it, right click. So it's it's telling the PowerPoint that this is the image that I want to work on, right? Um, there's all kinds of things that you can do, and once you feel more comfortable with that, you know, I could get into artistic you know, types of things with that if I wanted to do something creative, you know. I Ooh, that was cool, that color. bottom line, the shadow, like the yeah. shadow, that was cool. Yeah, and I could change the actual, you know, color of it, you know, I could get into that if I wanted to do certain things. Um, I wanted to correct red eye or make um, it, you know, more balanced or bring in, you know, some hues of different things, you know, I can do that too with cor corrections. But Today we're going to work on remove background. So I clicked on that button, and all this stuff up here, this is the area says areas marked to keep that I want to keep in the photo, areas that I want to remove out of the photo. Um, so I bring my um, cropped areas, as you can see these little squares, that's the actual framing of it. I want to have it be in the whole photo, right? So I'm going to bring it all the way up like, to the top of her hair. Do you see that? So now it got the top of her hair. So this is, looks great. 
So now everything in purple is going to go away. So there you go. So now I could take this image, for example. Say I wanted to go back to my desktop. I keep folders with all my images in it, which is um, a great way to do that. Um, so say I want to pick an image of um, something I want to put her in, like uh, opening of a door. Um, or maybe I want to do a, a for sale sign. Okay, so there's my image. But I want to bring this forth, right? I want this image to go here. But if I do that, she goes away. So what I have to do is take and go to the little line, right click on your mouse, and it says bring to the front. And I click that. Now she's there. So say I wanted to make a sign with her name, you know, her picture as an example. Can you guys kind of see that a little bit, Scott? How cool that is? That is, that is, that is so cool. I, I never even thought about it. Yeah, no, that's, that's way cool. Very cool, yeah. very cool. So, so that's how you can do that. And so say, for example, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and if I wanted to have her pop out with some, you know, images in the background, you know, I can do that. Um, right. And I can, you know, bring in a little bit more of a 3D rotation. On, on the sign, you know, whatever I want it to do to make it look, you know, pretty cool. So that's how, how you manipulate, you know, images and, and do things. Um, if I don't like the way that she's standing here, I can go over here and I can rotate it. You know, so I, I can make her go the opposite way. Do you see that? Oh, my God. I had no idea you could do that. Yeah. Holy so if I don't shit. want, if I, if I want to have some words on the right, because I find, you know, in Facebook headers, you know, you have to really think about where your profile picture is. Mm -hmm. And then you're doing a header, it's always on the right side. So maybe I don't want that photo, you know, to be there looking towards the left. I want it to look to, towards the right so it there has some balance when people are, are looking at it. So wow. that's in rotate. Wow. You know, I can change it all around, but I can move the rotation between the two. Wow. So just want to kind of let you guys know that, too, as well. Um, but for example, I'm going to exit out of this one right now. I'm not going to save anything. Um, I'm going to go back into Pub Microsoft Publisher. <clears throat> and these are postcards. So um, I use vistaprint.com. Um, I like them because they are so inexpensive. Um, and Scott, this is what I use when I order all your um, Okay. Okay. Postcards, okay. And I get them so that they're glossy, full color on the front, because I want that look of, um, you know, it, it looks richer. But the back, I always make sure that I get it in a matte finish. Glossy on the front, matte on the back. And the reason why is I like to, you know, to use them for, like, thank you cards um, as an example of one. And so I would like to write something in ink, and I don't want it to smear. And that's one way of doing it. So you can go to vistaprint.com and order them. It's underneath marketing products. Um, and what I like to do is the postcards, which are the standard size, 5.47 by 421. Uh, That's your standard postcard. Or you can get the oversized. But you can use, there's tons of different places that you can get you know, cards printed. Um, your own printer can print them up. Um, yeah. But I find that they, these are inexpensive, um, and they're usually within um, a week I get the postcards. So I wanted you to come here so that you could use this as a guide. Um, so think, for example, if I were to do my postcards, I choose the standard size. I can upload my own design by just using their standard size and, and click Upload My Own Complete Design. So now I'm going to design my postcards, and I'm going to go up here to PowerPoint, um, click Design again, come over to Page Setup. Remember, we did Page Setup with flyers, and we did Portrait. Now we're going to do the same thing with the postcards. So I'm going to put Vista Print's um, standard postcard side in there. Do you see that, guys? 
Yep. Five point first element, so I want a five by four standard postcard. I'm going to keep it in landscape mode, and I'm going to hit OK. So now I have this whole section. This is my whole postcard to work from, which is pretty cool because it's big, and I know it's going to, you know, what it's going to look like. Um, one thing, you know, so I cut and get rid of my little things. Okay, so now I go back to my home. From, I've already set up my page, and I go back to home, and here's where I'm going to design the card. Um, two things. I usually have a front and a back page, right? So I go back and I start, and I hit new slide. And the kind of slide I want is a blank slide. But this slide, let me go back to design just to prove to you guys, to show you, is also already with my same, with the um, height dimensions kind of cool. So they're both the same. So when you're sending these on, you can set, you, you would upload your front and you would upload your back page. Just want to kind of show you that, okay? So now I'm at my postcard and whatever the postcard could be, you know, it could be anything. Um, usually, as I mentioned before, um, you know, like for example, I just did these for Ella yesterday. Um, so this is Ella's um, new Facebook page. <clears throat> And so I took her banner and I put it in, um, and um, she's the Portland loan expert. And this is her back page. This is so it's blank, so that she can handwrite thank yous. And one of the biggest things, like you're going to talk about in your class, is reaching out and touching your past clients, keeping in touch with your current clients, and handwriting a note saying that you're thinking about them. So um, so heartfelt that it's you know they. People don't do it anymore. It, you know, we text and we um, talk to them on Facebook. But getting an actual, you know, handwritten note saying, "Hey, haven't talked to you. You know, how's your house going? Um, you know, hope you know, hope things are going great. Just want to let you know that you know I'm thinking about you." That goes a, a really a long way. Um, and I think that you said once, you know, it's like when you buy a car. Do you ever hear from the person that sold you the car? to say, hey, how do you like your car? Um, I never have. Right. You know, and if I were to have gotten that, do you think that one of my friends who said that they're looking for a car, I would have said, oh, I have a great guy that you got to go to or a great lady that helped me. Um, so doing this just makes a huge um, impression. And so these are just, and you should have about five. I usually order 500 thank you cards. That's how I have agents do that. Because if you're sending out five a day, you know, um, you know, and you're sending out, you know, five to people that you talk to at your open house on Sunday. Hey, thank you for stopping by. You know, my open house. You know, it was great to meet you. Um, just want to let you know I'm here in case you're, you know, or I look forward to working with you. Or you're going to send this out to um, confirm an appointment that you have. You know, it was great to talk to you on the phone, Jane. I look forward to our meeting on Tuesday at two o'clock. You know. So what you're doing is you're co-branding your image, and you're sending a personal message. So your postcards could be anything. This would be something that she would send out to new agents that she's um, wanting to, you know, to recruit to um, to build a partnership with. Um, there are tons of and underneath recent, um, like these are. These are Paul's flyers that I just did for him, you know, um, and you can no. use them for all kinds of different things. Um, if we get into postcards for um, my, ah, um, oh, where'd it go? Sorry, guys. For um, let's talk about Pinterest. I think I just got out of it. I'm going to show you a couple. So one of the questions, Vicky, is any questions? yeah, well, yeah, one of the yep. There's a couple coming in. So one of the questions is what um, what what weight of paper do you use for the flyers and postcards? Do you, do we know like for, through Vista Print? Do we do they give you the number? No, I just ordered the generic one. I don't think they're real heavy. Mm -hmm. okay. I just want to make sure that it's glossy on the front um, mm -hmm. and full color. You know, I okay. don't want to. Um, you know, I don't want to have it um, be matte because I think a glossy looks so much richer. 
Okay. That was the only thing. Um, Julie's asking, do you upload to VistaPrint as PDF, or how do you how do you get it to VistaPrint? How do you get it to VistaPrint? What's the best way to do that? Well, personally, uh, yeah, I do upload it to um, you know iGing it. Okay. <laughs> and okay. I put it on there after so it's, it's already ping, done. So it's ping or something like that. So it's ne not necessarily yeah. PDF. Okay. Yeah. If yeah. you get a chance, um, a couple of people have asked that similar question. Do you, can you show how you would once you're once you've got your flyer, how you would save that as a JPEG file for those that can't print oh, um, off files? Yeah. Can you show that? Yep, I sure can. Awesome. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick right now. So, say for example, I want to save that now. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit save. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry. I've already saved it, so it's already saved. So, say I want to save it as a um, a PDF. So, I'm going to hit Save As. Um, where do I want to save it? I want to save it on my desktop. What kind of a name do I want to give it? You know, um, whatever it is I want to save. This little drop-down menu here allows me to save it as a PowerPoint presentation, a PDF, a JPEG, or a GIF. And usually, um, with Vistaprint, I always save them as a JPEG or a GIF. And sometimes a ping, you know, it just it really depends. So if I want to say a PDF, I would hit PDF. I would hit save, and there's my. Now, if I had my own printer, and a lot of people do, I know we do, I can go buy stock, um, um, you know, paper and put in there postcards that are blank, and I can just hit print for us here and print them off. Um, now the problem with that is you have to make sure that you, when you buy your stock, you're buying glossy front, matte back. Um, but uh, on flyers, it doesn't matter, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's how you hit save as in your desktop, and then you know, then you would go to wherever it is your. You can send. I send it directly. When I go to a printer, I send both the PowerPoint, a JPEG, and a PDF. I send, all, I save them as all three, and I send them to the printers. It depends on what the printers have. Um, a lot of them, you know, use more Adobe, uh, you know, um, and if I'm depends if I'm using Microsoft Publisher or if I'm using PowerPoint. You know, I always make sure that I, I save it as a PDF and a JPEG and a and you know a publisher. I mean a PowerPoint, so that they can manipulate it within their own system. Very cool. Did that, that answer your question, Paul? Yep. Cool. James, yes, ma'am, it James, does. James is asking, what determines if you use JPEG or GIF? Is there a reason that we like you choose one or the other, or try both, or? Yeah, no, no, really. They're basically the same thing. You know, everyone knows about JPEG, so that's why it's it's universal. You know, okay. um, so it's either going to be a JPEG or a GIF. Those are usually okay. they usually are the same. Here's a great question. Here's a great question. How do I? Uh, it says, "How um, Debbie? Thanks for." Uh, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, a couple questions. How do you change the color of a postcard background? Chris Johnson is asking. Appreciate the question. Oh yeah. Um, actually, this is great. Um, so say two things. Like for example, <clears throat> there's two ways. This is a postcard, right? That we're doing. Um, so I have done things where I have copied and jeaned <laughs> backgrounds. So um, I found something that I really like. So, like for example, chalkboard. You know, I wanted to do something kind of cool that looked like kids writing. So I got a chalkboard background. Um, you know, so I could use this as my background if I wanted to, or um, I can go in there and insert um, an actual um, shape. So say I want to insert the shape. I draw it to where I want to be the shape for it to be. So I want the shape to be all the way to the very end of my postcard. Um, and then I would go into, um, you know, choose, you know, actually doing the extra colors. So I could come over here, I get click on it, and um, I need to, here it is, my fill. So I want that shape to be a color. I can have that shape be a color. I can have that shape, say for example, if I wanted to make it, you know, like with a, a darker variation to it, um, I could change the color here to maybe, say if I wanted it to be green. <laughs> That's cool. 
I could change it to making sure you know that it is like hello. This. And yeah. every single one of <laughs> every single one of these um, colors, you know, I can make wow. it variation. So depending on what kind of a background that I'm looking for, and I can make it saturate more up down. Um, so, you know, I could do a pattern if I wanted it to be, you know, like this, or maybe I like this bold stripe. So there's two ways I can utilize you know, PowerPoint in its own little fill in the fill button, or I can select an image and use that as a background. So all it is is right-clicking, going to this little shape fill button. So, yeah, right-click and then, then you get that option that comes up and this is where you'd use it all. Yeah. So maybe I like this texture, texture. you know. That's cool. Yeah. 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 So I can use it in that kind of a way. So it could be either by me inserting an actual image that I purchased, you know, or jinged from, you know, Google or something to say if I want something to be totally black, you know, and then bring it all the way out to wherever I want it to be. And then maybe insert some writing. Like now it's black, but now I want to change it to be white. Hey, Vicki, on that background thing, I was answering a question typing. Did you show how to change the transparency to make it kind of see? Did you show that part where you can change the transparency on the background? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, I missed it. I was, I was again, typing a message, quick. doggone it. Sure. Um, so, like, for example, underneath here, um, say, I, depending on the color that I want it to be, all these different um, textures, different things, if I want to... Um, where did I where did I do that at? Oh, sorry. Go to I think gradient and then go to more I think. More well, gradient. and that's that's the the gradient is. is is how much it's going to where it's going to fade from it? one color to another color. Correct, and you can um, change every one of those colors too, so that's pretty cool. And what's cool about that? Go back to the fill and then the picture or texture fill real quick. Um, do you want me to go back to uh, the picture. pattern fill? Or picture, or picture fill. fill. Yep, picture yep. fill. And then fill it from file, from below right there mm -hmm. at file, just below where yep. you did a texture. And then insert any mm -hmm. old picture you got, just um, like the one of the couple right there. That's perfect. And then just on the very bottom, do you see where it says transparency? Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you right. leave it as the background, you can make it so it's not overpowering the words that you have on the screen, and, and that's the, the background, and now you can put your whole message. So if you want an image of the home, yes. like say you're doing a flyer for a specific seller and you're doing results in advance to go impress the seller with what you've done for them already, you can make the picture of their home be the background of the flyer that you're showing them. And really and nice and easy. I, hey, Pipe Paul, that's, a little, that, that's like freakiness. It going going above and beyond. I mean, it's just it, it, like I said the, in the very beginning. The limits are are our imagination. I know. I know. So it, there's just so many different things you could do. Now, one one last time, and I I need to write this down this time, Vicky. Where is the what's the name of that site you buy your images from, where you're getting them for like a box? Oh, most times? sure. Um, yeah, that is. I use Photo Express. Photo Express. Them. Okay. It's mm -hmm. it's P H O T O X P. I think it's. Uh, yeah, P-H-O-T-O-X-P-R-E-S-S.com, I think. Okay, very cool. Um, I like yeah, that because yeah. that saves us without, you know, a lot of the worry when we're using images and things to build our flyers. We, you know, the, the concern is copyright infringement. Nobody wants to get that letter from Getty Images saying we owe them 800 bucks in a cease and desist letter. So right. having a right. good place to find good quality images and then you don't have those concerns that's a that that saves a lot of the headache. That that's always been something that I've always thought about, and I never really had a good place to do it. So, thank goodness for Vicky. Right. Yeah. I'm um, going yeah. back to your. Um, let, let me just kind of go back to that. What you, you, you talked about a few minutes. This is great for when you're using a logo. Um, so if you're if you have a logo that you have for your company as a watermark on any of the stuff that you do, this is a great uh, background, and um, we we can get you know, where you can just kind of layer on top of each other. So um, just wanted to kind of go back there. But this is Photo Express. 
You can, cool. I can put in any kind of thing that I want. I can say happy family, outside, uh, rain, um, and search. Now it's going to find anything that I want that's outside with rain, happy family. You own the picture, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Um, and so I can search for things that give me just emotion and feelings. And maybe all I want is photo. Vector is more expensive. Um, okay. So you, you, and so is I, Getty, I, I, isn't I it? Getty is also you know, a little I mean, more the, pricey. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more pricey. Yeah, and then you can choose it to be. If I'm doing, um, I need an image for the Facebook timeline. I make sure that I always choose it, the landscape version, horizontal. But if I'm doing mm -hmm. something for just a postcard, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, you know, and I can search up to a hundred images at one time. You know, so now I zoned into just an emotion. You know, of being outside uh, with a fa happy person, family in the rain. So you really can get very um, specific with what you're looking for. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. very cool. You know, if I wanted a green house. Vicky, have you ever heard yeah. of Matt? Is Matt um, is sharing with us? He also one two three rf dot com is good and cheap. Have you ever have you yeah, ever heard of them? I've used them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, they're good too. They're really Thank good. you for sharing, and Matt. We appreciate you. Yeah. One two three yeah. rf. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've used them, and we we do have those, Scott. So um, okay, cool. But I good. just I find you you get your favorites, you know, um, that you work with, and it's just. Whatever is the easiest way for me, and I thought Photo Express was really super, super easy. Cool. Very cool. See, um, so, man, I tell you, uh, um, every single time I get on this, <laughs> I learn something. This is really cool. So let me just, I'm going to take this screen back from you really quick. I want to share a couple things before yeah. we end here. Um, all right, so here we are. Show my screen. And uh, Jill? I always appreciate you having here, Don. I know that Jill. I know exactly what Jill's going to do. She's going to go back and she'll be throwing stuff out on the screen for us and saying, "Hey, look what I did! Look what I did!" So I appreciate you, Jill, and uh, always honored to have you on the call. So, really quick, I got a little uh, surprise for you guys. Uh, just maybe some ideas of different forms of templates. So I put it under it's budgirl.com forward slash flyer templates, uh, and if you go there, let me just show you what I got here. So, so, whoops, okay, budyearl.com forward slash photo template, yes, if I can spell. So what Microsoft has done, they said, okay, you know what, let's give away some free cool stuff. Um, why is this not working? Uh, okay, photo t flyer templates. I'm sorry, flyer templates. If I spell right, that would help a lot. So flyer templates, and what this is, Microsoft says, okay, we'll give you a bunch of, here's, um, I don't know if you guys see this or not, templates. Can you guys see this okay? Yep. So here's Word templates. If you click all products, here's like flyers, business, announcements, industry, event, print, I mean, all kinds of really cool so all you have to do is click on it, download it, and you open it up, and you can edit it however you want to edit it. Is that, cra is that crazy? Is that free? It's free, dude. So check this out. So homes. So if I just want to search home, here's some home stuff. Or if I want to search uh, maybe home for, I haven't really searched that too much, but home for sale. Here's one that's uh, home for sale. Here's the uh, feature to facts, whatever. So there's all kinds of different things you can think of here. Um, and there's, so if you click on templates here or all products, it takes you to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. So you can choose which where you want the template to be. Some people mention Publisher. So if I go up here and click on templates, there's uh, Publisher templates, there's PowerPoint templates, there's Word templates. Here's a bunch of really cool stuff that's just BAMO. You click on it and say you want this one right here, really cool graphics. You want to just fill in the pictures of the people and kind of your organization. I mean, it's just endless. So that's very cool. Isn't that cool? Where did you? Where did um, you? Where? What is that? Did you put a bud URL uh, together for it, Scotty? Yes, I did. So it's budyearl.com forward slash flyer templates. Photo Express is the one that Vicky was talking about, and I think the other one was um, what do you say? One two three rf dot com. One two three rf dot com. Was there another one that we were talking about? Vicky, what was the other the other 
uh, not the Getty one. There was one more that you had mentioned that was fairly cheap. Victor? Oh, no. Um, um, stock, uh, iStock, I think that's called. Yeah. iStock? Yeah. Shutter, Shutterstock. Shutter, Shutterstock. Shutterstock. Okay, yeah. cool. I like them. Shutterstock.com. Thank you, Karen, Jody, Xavier, <laughs> Renee, Jill. Thank you guys very much. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> cool. So, um, yeah, so like, I, I guess, you know, we're, we do these classes and hope that you get something out of it that will, one, save you money, build your brand, create more exposure, help you create something of value to give to somebody somewhere, some shape, somehow. Um, and a lot of people brought up why not publisher it's easier you know it's whatever if you're used to something then don't switch we just want to I put, love publisher yeah. I love yeah. it love it love it so yeah so um appreciate everybody hanging with us and it's just uh the, the, some amazing people in this class and we really appreciate you guys and appreciate you hanging with us a and lot of questions coming in right now Scotty yeah. everybody's cool. asking can how do, can I get a copy of this PowerPoint and can I get absolutely. a copy of the class absolutely we absolutely. did record it and we will get the PowerPoint up with the recording all you got to do to get access just get in touch with the loan professional who invited you today they'll get you access to the recording They'll get you access to the PowerPoint. And guys and girls, a lot of times the loan professional who's on this call has, has gone through this training and are using PowerPoint to create flyers and postcards and things already. So they may be able to help you and train you with some of the things they're already doing with this application. So right. definitely get in touch with them. Um, let them know thank you for inviting you to this class. And guys, stay tuned. Scotty has... Scotty, I mean, tell, talk about the upcoming, the next couple of weeks coming forward. Yeah, I mean, so, this, this yeah, is some good just, stuff let, coming let your way, guys. Really quick, uh, really quick, go back to this. So the next week is going to be a, a disc profile. So here's the thing: if you're doing ten, twelve, fourteen, twenty dollar an hour work when you could be doing three hundred dollar an hour work, you know, working with a buyer or seller, um, it's obviously costing you money. So we're going to do how to hide what like the five step process we do when looking for an assistant, and it, it, it's you, it'll blow your mind. And then we have Michelle on with us. I'm so excited about this. I spent, uh, uh, I, I had the honor to eat lunch with her down in Florida when I was there last week, and she started talking about this stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, you know this stuff too good. Can you come on class and share this with us? So she's going to be on next week. And then the, um, we're still working on the final date, but I'm thinking it's going to be the week after. Uh, Michael Mayer is going to be on, the guy that wrote the book on the seven levels of communication, an amazing guy, amazing book. If you haven't read it, I'd highly recommend it. And actually, your loan officer might even have a copy for you, so get with them and check it out. But uh, so just, just some amazing classes coming up, and I'm talking with other people. I, I just have so many people that are – this this show is turning – and I call it a show, but it's training. Um, I don't know if you guys know it, but you're part of the largest weekly online real estate training in the nation. And I have some people come to me that want to share their stuff and just help out and start giving. And it's just so cool. I mean, it's so cool to have all this stuff coming to class. So – we will bring you, we're just going to keep going, man. Keep going until this thing dies, and hopefully it'll never tie. It'll just keep growing and growing and growing, and just who knows where we're going, you know? So um, appreciate everybody. Appreciate everybody joining us. Vicki, once again, Thank amazing you. stuff that you uh, have brought to the table, and I appreciate you. And uh, Paul, my brother from another mother, thanks for answering all the questions and just uh, pitching in the little shadow part there. And Absolutely. That's, I, I that's important. You know the watermark piece there is so, so important. So. If you um, haven't been here before, join us on facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. That is where we all hang out. If you got a question, you're going to get answers from your peers. If you post there, the cool part, part about these private groups is uh, when you ask a question, it doesn't get out there to your friends and family and coworkers. Only the people in the group see it, and there's just some amazing engagement there. So. Just, just some really good stuff going on. I just love the commodity that's going on and everybody pitching in and sharing, and it's just some good stuff. All right? You guys, have an amazing, safe rest of the weekend. Have an amazing three-day weekend coming up, Memorial Day weekend. Exciting stuff. Enjoy your family. Turn off your phones, your computers, and enjoy it. Be in the moment. And, Paul, my brother from another mother, I'll see you in a month, my man. Brother, we'll see you soon. Everybody, thanks for joining us today, and we will see you right back here next week for another exciting class. Looking forward to that disc stuff, man. That that really does. It, it's an eye opener. It, it really is. So yeah. awesome stuff. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we will see oh, you're you. You're welcome. Thanks, Biggie. Thanks. Bye.
The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.